Festival of Nations, rain or shine, we're here to have some fun. This is um, the Midway's second annual Festival of Nations. This is a way that we bring our very diverse community together with the businesses that, that work in this area and the groups that serve this area. The Festival of Nations idea was to really bring all of the cultures that are out here in the sort of David Douglas district together. We have food from six different countries in the world. We have music from five or six different countries in the world. We have booths represented from all around the world and together we work to build community. This is a special shout out from Portland Fire and Rescue to the Festival of Nations. Thanks for the opportunity to, to let us do a little public education, spread the word about smoke alarms and just being safe in the homes. I'm Sue Spencer, I'm with Mount Hood Community College. We're here with Minden Library, Multnomah County Library Minden. System. I think it's really important when we all come together and share where we're from and our backgrounds. This community is one of the communities in the city that really needs to have a sense of business connection. Having the businesses and the community connected builds a stronger community. My name's Dave, I'm the owner and operator of Dave Gonzo Sculpture. I'm here at Festival of Nations sharing what I do. It's just get it hot, get the rod, and then just add filler material. It turns molten. I really enjoy doing demonstration, because this is kind of a lost art. An event like this is very beneficial for the nonprofits in the area because it allows them to connect with the communities that they serve. There are not a lot of events in East Portland that actually connect this way. The Festival of Nations is a really great opportunity for Trash for Peace to um, do outreach with um, different uh, cultures and maybe people who don't speak English. Well, it's really important for us to get out there and um, promote our programs to potential new students. We, we like to get a lot of diversity in our bureau and this should be an opportunity for us to display not only a public safety education message but also a recruitment message. I think one thing that's exciting about this is that it's a space where actually it's intended to be everybody's intended to be welcome and really sharing that together amongst each other. Um, the, a good example of that is the Taste of Nations tent over here. So here at the Taste of Nations the community members who've come in to prepare food have gotten to share their different dishes um, that are really special to them. I grew up eating this food and I know that it's really good, especially when she makes it, like she did with this. If you can put to do show, like um, vegetarian, no meat, nothing. And so it's just nice to have other people enjoy the food that I did as a child. We got to form the groups from the people in the community, and then we asked them, what dish from your culture would you want to share? I'm serving a uh, food from Vietnam, and uh, this is spring roll. Guys, I see here. I'm from uh, Russia, and uh, these are called blini. One of them is with chicken, and the other with cheese. This is Sankru from Burma. Hi, today we're serving the food from China, so uh, here's the chicken lo mein. This food is from Iraq. It's a dessert that usually we eat after dinner. It's uh, phyllo dough and nuts. Um, some vanilla, sugar. And so each of them thought about it and then said, these are the dishes that we want to do. Why do you want to do them? Well, because they're festive, they're tasty, they're what I serve my family, they're for special occasions. So all of these treats were generated from like a real place of heart. So they really wanted to share them. <laughs> Here we all like one family. Hi, we're the Malepa Palatl and we're at the Festival of Nations!